How you guys doing? How you doing? Dr. Mark, Daniel Page. Mark from ADP. Michael Sinsenbaugh from ADP. Mark from ADP. Oh. Dr. Daniel Page. Page. How are you doing? Before we get started, in case you guys have any uh, medical needs, feel free to come and see there us go. here. There's There you go. Thank you. Oh, thank you. Yes, sir. May we have a seat? Oh, absolutely. Pop a squat. Okay. So, so uh, before we get started real fast, do you guys care if I take notes? Thank you. Absolutely not. So, um, just need a little background on your uh, company. Is this your guys' only location? Uh, no, we actually have a second location at uh, Peachtree City that employs another 15 staff members. Okay. Um, in addition to the 20 we have here at the Newman office. Okay. And do you guys have any plans on expansion in the near future? Well, assuming everything stays on track, we intend to add another five employees to the Peachtree location. Um, and then we're in the process of working with architects and contractors on uh, building a brand new office in Tyrone. Uh, okay. Within the next couple of years, you know, we're just in the... The foundation, we're not sure exactly where we're going to put it yet, but Tyrone's a good town. they got a great market for us. Um, yes, they do. It's a great place for expansion. So, uh, so based off what you just said, you have around 35 employees now, and within the next couple of years, that, that uh, number could jump up to 60 employees. Absolutely. You know, um, the healthcare market's growing, um, so we expect within, by the time we open that Tyrone location, to have at least 60 more employees, or 60 employees. Um, the way it's growing, you know, I'd love to get up over 100 mm -hmm. um, within the next 10 or 15 years okay. um, with a possible third location. I mean, it doesn't hurt to be optimistic. So, as we both said, we're both from ADP. Are you aware of what we do, who we are, anything? Somewhat. Um, a little bit. You know, I've, I've heard of ADP. I know a little bit about their services. Um, but I'm always open to new ideas. So, uh, okay. what do you guys have to well, offer? To elaborate on that, we're a software company that all specializes in payroll solutions, human resources solutions for small businesses like yourself, and we try to eliminate a lot of the headaches that you guys incur on a regular basis. So, tell me, who does the payroll for your business? I do. Okay. Now, is that a part-time job for you, or would you consider that a full-time, 40 hours a week type job? Um, initially, I started doing the payroll when we first opened, um, just part-time basis. Um, but since we've expanded and we've taken on more employees, uh, the payroll tasks have consumed a lot of my time and um, pushed, pushed me basically to full occupation. Um, we've actually considered hiring an individual to take my place, um, and that way I could get some of the time back that I really wish I could have with my kids. So that would just be another expense to your guys' list. Do you see that affecting your plans to expand at all? So uh, if we need to add another individual, it would definitely put a small damper on our time frame. Um, We've set for expansion, like I was saying earlier. Yes, We're hoping within the next five five years to add a second location. But right now, our current payroll processes and even really our HR and hiring processes can't support that second location with 60 employees because Ellen works very hard, and she just is having trouble keeping up with it. So I'm, I'm assuming that when you took on the job of handling all the payroll, that was when you only had the one location, and yes. that's he's saying that's obviously not working anymore. Yes. That's okay. True. And just real quick, I mean, uh, if you don't mind me asking, do you guys have any uh, kids? Yeah, we do. Um, two kids, both under the age of 10. Wow, so they're pretty young. Yes. Um, so that's that's just brings up another issue. Your wife could be at home spending more time with the kids and watching them grow. I would definitely like to, yes. Um, okay. Uh, do you mind me asking what uh, software you guys currently use to handle your payroll? Uh, currently, it's called Microsoft Dynamics. Okay. Okay, um, so I'm pretty familiar with that software. I handle a lot of the technical, more software stuff. Okay. So do you know how costly that product is? Uh, I'm not sure from how much we paid for it at first, but every year we spend about 1500 to upgrade the software. It's a lot for a small business. Yes. So every little bit counts when you're not a big corporation. Now, I can know you understand that. Now tell me, is this software easy to learn, or do you have to enter the information in manually? How, how does it work? Well, the software is pretty easy to get a hang of. Um, it just doesn't do a lot of the things we would like it to do. And the worst part is the amount of time that she spends working on it. Um, it's such a simple task, but it requires her to type in manually all the information for each of our employees, as well as she's not exactly a tech expert. And so every time the software comes out with a new update, she has to relearn all the processes. Okay, okay. So you mentioned the amount of time it takes specifically. Yes. Really, how much time does it take you each payroll to do your uh, paychecks, cut and stuff, and all that? Um, it takes about three minutes to uh, total each time card, and then another hour to key the payroll system. And after the process of cutting and stuff in the checks, it's probably another 
two hours or so for every single employee. Okay. So correct me if I'm wrong, but just off the top of my head, that's roughly five hours every two weeks. So it's... Yes. Approximately. Yeah. Okay. So you multiply that number by 26 weeks because of 52 weeks bi-weekly. That's definitely a big chunk of time for you guys. So now that number, five hours, that assumes everything goes perfectly, smoothly, you have no issues. Yes. Does your wife ever face any problems with when she's carrying out these processes? Yes, unfortunately, like I said, she's uh, not exactly a tech expert, although she is amazing. Um, but everybody makes mistakes. It's human nature. Uh, every pay period, there's roughly four to five problems with the checks that luckily we catch, and they require us to go back and void them out and recalculate the proper amount to correct the error that... She's made. So that just takes more time out of your day, obviously. And have any of your employees really complained about this? Because you know, it could definitely affect uh, employee morale and in like certain situations where somebody might not be compensated We've properly. Some complaints. Yeah. You know, from a management standpoint, it's it's really a problem because when we do have these complaints, typically we lose employee morale. The employees aren't happy. They don't they don't want to work. Um, and then you know. It's unfortunate, and it reflects very poorly on me as a manager and an owner mm -hmm. when we have these payroll issues. Yeah, I understand that. So now assuming you didn't have to deal with any of that payroll nonsense, um, how would you re uh, uh, reallocate uh, your time? Well, I'd like to think that my wife would uh, take some advantage of all our free time. You know, I'd like to think she would spend time with our children, and maybe even me and her can get a nice night alone. Oh, that sounds great. So going back to the software you currently use, how does it handle paid time off? Because I know that can be kind of confusing sometimes when you do it manually. Well, that's actually a pretty simple question. That's probably the easiest question you'll ask all day. Mm -hmm. You know, it, it straight up doesn't. Yeah. It doesn't do any of that. Okay. <laughs> so if that's the case, how do you guys handle your paid time off? Well, you know, we use another Microsoft program for that, as I'm sure you're familiar with, as everybody is. Mm -hmm. We use Excel. And... With Excel, it's very tedious. We have to go in and sum up the number of hours each employee has and the paid time off based on their seniority with the company. You know, it's very time consuming, um, requires a lot of checking over and making sure everything's right, um, as well as it's hard to keep track of. So, Ms. Page, are your employees el like ever able to uh, view that uh, report? Uh, yeah, every other month. Uh, we go in and we update everyone's PTO balance and then send our report once the numbers have been all summed up. Uh, so, every other month, that's really not that frequent. Um, I can imagine a lot of your employees are calling into you to inquire how much paid time off they uh, they have, and like way more frequently than once a month because people can get up to like two to three days off a month sometimes. Well, yeah, it just it takes me too much time to really mm -hmm. go in there and constantly update this. So obviously we'd like to do it more, but right now like we just try and do calculation on the fly if someone asks us on the spot. And I can imagine that there are obviously errors that happen with that. And have you ever messed up a calculation by a few hours or so? Um, every once in a while. Uh, the main problem is really using the PTO before the employees have actually earned it. Okay. Um, so when someone is terminated or they leave the business, we end up eating that money. Um, we've already paid for their PTO and they didn't deserve it. Okay. Oh. So I can imagine that adds up over time. But in further with the software, are you able to generate any reports of the paid time off or any other summaries? Um, not necessarily. All the reports that we generate are very simple and a lot of accurate extra calculations um, and work are needed if we want to actually use these. Okay. So I see. Now, let me address the issue of taxes. Do, do you handle the tax deposits, W-2s, quarterly filings, any of that? Um, yes. Yes, I do. Okay. So have you ever had any problems using those? Uh, yes. Uh, one time four years ago for uh, late reporting, and we were forced to pay a fine, but since that, we've had a pretty good track record. Okay. Well, before we go any further, I'd like to give you a sample of the software that we're trying to pitch to you guys. It's called ADP Run, and as you can see, this will be your payroll homepage. It's got everything that you are discussing right now, your payroll, the HR tab. It all depends what package you choose. And then if you go, you just see all of the employees currently at your company. It's pretty straightforward. It's got all their demographics, their phone numbers, their zip codes, etc. And every time you gain a new employee, it's simple fields that you have to fill out, their last name, first name, basic information that anyone would put on their applications. And then as you enter their in, you also have the ability to enter their payroll based on if they're salary, if they're hourly. You can put a set hours they work per week or set salary that'll be divvied up over the 12 month period. It's really up to you what you wanna do.
And then once you have all the numbers in, you're able to preview that payroll to make sure everything's accurate. You can crunch the numbers, see what your profit margin is, etc. And then, as well as that, as I touched on earlier, the reports that you're unable to have now, we have a vast majority of reports that you can view and generate for your company specifically. And it also hand handles the taxes that you said you had previous issues with. And past that, we don't want to really go into all the human resources stuff right now, because that's not exactly what you're inquiring on. But we offer background checks, screenings, resume, or application screenings, stuff to that extent. So does that sound like interesting to you guys at all? Absolutely. You know, that, that information is great. Like, like we were talking earlier, you know, with this, with this expansion, um, the HR, the HR stuff is actually very interesting. Mm -hmm. um, I had, hadn't even really thought about it. You know, I yeah. spend a lot of time personally doing that. And, you know, as far as the payroll system goes, um, Ellen's great, but, you know, we do make, we do make mistakes. Everybody's mm -hmm. human. And, uh, I think any little bit that I can get to make her life a little bit easier will in turn make my life a little bit easier. Um, so, so what I've what I've taken away from what we said, so everything so far, your main problem that you guys are facing is just a lot of time consumption with the payroll. Absolutely, you know, every okay. two weeks. So, and you're also your current system is just not very. It's it's actually too simple, and it just doesn't really offer too many. It doesn't really offer you guys too much, and you're paying a lot for it. No, no, it's no. very it's very simple, mm -hmm. um, and we are paying a lot for yeah. it. So first, I'd like to address the issue of the payroll, and that just takes you way too much time to do, like calculate time cards, keying in all the data, and cutting and stuffing the checks. Yeah. So with ADP, which is an online-based system, it allows your payroll to be completely automatically calculated, and like at anywhere at any time. Okay. And the payroll cards okay. can be sent directly to us at ADP, and your payroll will be, uh, will be automatically calculated for you, for both of you to, be, uh, to view at any time. Because I'm guessing you both are going to want to know how to use all these systems and whatnot. Absolutely. So, now one question for you is where she's not exactly a tech expert. Mm -hmm. I'm a little tech tarted. Mm -hmm. um, Listen, how will we get her integrated into using ADP systems? Well, I think this goes right up my alley. The great news is that ADP offers an entire implementation team. So basically when you sign up for the system we have an entire team that comes They'll set up the system in your office. They'll walk through the ins and outs of the entire system. And we also, we also offer various tutorials, even after we leave, that you can go back and review and walk through them by yourself. And we have a software team that's on hand 24-7 with any issues that you can possibly Okay, have. very good. I was going to ask, that was going to be my next question, was uh, whether um, if I do have a problem after you already left, you do have a customer service team that is always available? Yes, we do. And actually, okay, within the last five years, we have fixed a great deal of the kinks and problems in our customer service structure. So basically, our customer retention rate has jumped to over 90%, and we now ensure that the client is the most important priority to us. So if need be, I could arrange a meeting with a current client for them to explain what they think of our customer service performance, if you would like that. But unless you don't want to take my word for it, Absolutely. You know, I'd, I'd like to talk to a few people because I have read some, some reviews about some glitches with your services. Mm -hmm. um, you know, I, I had a friend down the road at J&T Lawn Care, that um, personal personal friend of mine that had a lot of service issues with your, your payroll system. Um, are you familiar with that company? Yeah, and I worked personally to go through all of those problems with him and we sorted everything out. I worked with him personally, so... We uh, straightened everything out, and we got all of his payroll back on track, and he hasn't had any hiccups since then. Okay. So, um, like you said earlier, tax, uh, we offer uh, tax services, and I know tax can be crazy tax season, um, especially with your plan to expand to 60-plus employees. That's just a lot of time. Uh, so currently, how long does it take you to do your uh, taxes for your 35 employees? Um, I believe, what is it? About two weeks, give or give or take a little bit. Uh, some years are faster than others. Obviously, and, and that's probably just extremely stressful too, because that's a lot of paperwork to get together and yes. whatnot. We can offer a completely uh, automated system to calculate taxes for each of your employees. Um, we know all the federal, state, and local jurisdictions, so we can automate all of your taxes and get that done where you don't have to deal with that anymore. Sounds great. Okay, so we've been talking a lot, and I know we could sit here and talk all night. So as of right now, who are, how do you feel about our product? I think you uh, you have a lot to bring to the table. Um, 
Recent from what you tell, it, it free a lot of time up for her, a lot of time for her and our kids, and a lot of a lot of time for the business. Um, less less money as far as cost goes, but um, you know, I'd need to know what your cost is compared to what we have and the added cost for those services that we don't currently have. Um, okay. And then from there we could we could. Based on our current rates, it's actually twenty dollars a month for just the payroll service, and then two dollars per employee on your payroll. But seeing as I don't have an exact quote, saying so you would be interested in the human resources thing, how about I go back, do a little research, add on the human resources thing, and we set up a meeting sometime later on in the week. So basically, you're looking at twenty dollars a month. Yes. Sir. Um, so it's two hundred and forty dollars a year, and then you got thirty dollars per employee biweekly. So we're talking, we got roughly thirty-five employees. So you're looking at sixty-five dollars biweekly. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. Give or take a few, yeah. We'd obviously want to go back and make sure our uh, all of our uh, our budget would be correct for you. Uh, so like we don't uh, know how exact those numbers are currently. Okay. Okay. okay fair. Fair enough. Um, so. We're pretty busy, mm -hmm. um, and I'm still in the market. You know, I'm gonna. I got a meeting with Paychex later, um, and some other firms that do, do similar services. Um, okay. But I will entertain the idea if you guys can get those numbers to me and come back. Uh, oh, sir. A little bit more information. What do you say, three days from now, Friday. Um. Let's see, Friday, I golf in the morning. Uh, how about Monday? Mondays. What Monday time, work, on, what time uh, on Monday works best for you? I hit lunch about 12 o'clock. I got a meeting at 1. Um, I'll tell you what. Let me contact my uh, secretary, mm -hmm. and she'll get something set up and give you a call. Okay. So I think maybe Monday. I think maybe maybe Monday would work, but okay. don't don't hold me to that. I'm okay. not, I'm not sure. All right. All right. Thank you guys for your time. Thank you. Nice Thank to meet you. you. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you.